okay? See Lindelof. AP calculus AB, find the area bounded by the curve of y equals cosine of x and the x-axis on negative pi to pi. I like this question a ton for an AP question because it takes on all the, gives you so much to think about. First off, is the area bounded, so it doesn't say the area over. So the area bounded here, so it's going to look like this. So let this be our Cartesian plane. Yeah, here's our Cartesian plane. And this thing looks like this, I think. Looks like this. So it passes through here, starts to go that way, passes through here, wants to go that way. Right, and then, of course, you can hopefully picture that it's a sine, it's a cosine curve, so it just does all that crap. But this is, the, this is what we're looking for. So here are our boundaries. Here are our boundaries right here, so I need to get some idea what these places are. And we know from here to here, it's under the x-axis, right? And we have a matching piece, if you hadn't noticed, that this is the, its matching piece. These are the same size pieces here. And then we have that part that's over the x-axis, right? So we have to be careful how we count this area because they just want this bounded area here. So we know that this is negative pi here. Hopefully, figure out that this is negative pi halves here. This is pi halves. This is pi here. So we have to start looking at these pieces. So we have two pieces that are down here. So we're going to take them out and say negative 2 times the definite integral. Look, you can write these each as their own interval if you want to. I'm just going to take it as 1 because they're the same size piece. I'm just trying to save myself a little bit of time. And this notation is 100% OK to use for the AP exam. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, and it's from negative pi to pi, negative pi halves. Um, if you don't like that, you can take it from from pi halves to pi. Either one, you're going to get the same uh, answer, so you can check that if you want to, is of cosine of x. Remember, on the calculus exam, use your notation. So this is good notation. Not only did I write cosine x, but I said dx here. And then we have this piece in here that now we need to find this area in here, right? And the area in here is the definite integral from negative pi halves, right? This piece right here is pi halves, so to pi halves of cosine of x, don't forget, dx, okay? So this is good notation for the AP exam. If you were to do this on, on the free response section, I don't think so. I think this shows up on the more like it show up on the multiple choice, but there's that math really quickly. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start taking this integral and say that I have here, I have um, this one right here, right, is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and integrate, so integrate here, and gives us, right, the first integral of that is sine of x, right, as evaluated from negative pi halves to pi halves, right, remember that's this piece here, that's that piece there that we're going to take, minus two times sorry, sine of x dx as evaluated from, and we decided that we're going to take this one, so from pi halves to pi. Let's see how that, how that looks for us. So if we evaluate that, and this one we're going to get, now this one right here we're going to get Right, f of pi halves minus f of negative pi halves and sine of pi halves is 1, isn't it? This minus sine is this one. Sine of negative pi halves is 1, so that's negative negative 2, isn't it? So that gives us this, and then we're going to get this negative 2 here, negative 2 times, right, sine of, sine of pi is 0, sine of pi is minus sine of pi, sine of pi is negative 1, isn't it? I was, <laughs> I was really nervous for a second. I was like, this is not working out well. But it is. It's working out perfectly. 
this two is from this one here and this is from this one so we have two negative two times negative one is positive two and two plus two in fact friends is four and four is our area and I already know what your question is I just want you to I just want you to uh, comment and, and ask me the question and we'll talk about why it's not zero and why it's positive four and it has to do with the wording I think but let's talk about that so I'm dying to hear from you